Good morning, everybody. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on the 2018 Chevy Trax LS. So this is the entry level model. You've got halogen headlights up front for low beam and high beam. You've got a steel wheel set with some plastic caps on 16 inches of wheel there. We've got color matched mirrors and door handles. This vehicle actually does come with Wi-Fi on board, which is always nice. This is a compact utility vehicle too. So you can see we've got nice increased ride height here and a hatchback here for some extra storage. And I'll show you how that all works. This vehicle comes with a backup camera. We've got a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. This is a manual lift gate here, halogen tail lights. Not too much going on out here, but uh, this is a Simple yet functional vehicle. Sometimes function is what you really need. Let's go ahead and hop on in, see what this vehicle has all to offer. All right. By the way, this is a front wheel drive model, just so you know. We've got parallax windows and mirrors. All four windows are automatic on this vehicle. So we've got some nice features here. Looks like just auto down, I'm learning here. Driver windows, full auto, and the rest are just auto down. We've got a window lock here, storage in the doors up above, and down below with the bottle holder. And then we've got a eight-way adjustable driver seat here. We've got power lumbar, angle adjustment on the rear. You can raise and lower the seat with this pump action lever. Here's the lumbar support, and then a handle over here for fore and aft adjustment. This vehicle has automatic headlights. You can pop this out to adjust the illumination on the dash. And then we can see here, driver's seat has a nice little armrest since we have a uh, very minimal center console area here. So on the steering wheel, we can unlock this right here. This tilts up and down. It also telescopes so you can move it in and out. And then on here, we've got uh, controls for Bluetooth, voice recognition, muting the volume, cycling through your sources, adjusting your tracks and presets, and adjusting the volume on here. On um, this left-hand wand, this is going to control a lot. We've got this little drive display right here with information, so we can scroll through the trip or vehicle screens and then use this dial to move up and down and then you've got a selector to set or clear items right here. So on screen we've got a digital speedo. We can also see cardinal direction in the odometer and drive selection. We've got trip one, trip two, the fuel range on the vehicle, instantaneous fuel economy, average fuel economy 27.1, not bad and average vehicle speed. So I'm sure as the average speed increases, the fuel economy will also increase too. That information is being calculated in real time, even with the tracks sitting right here. Switching over to the vehicle screen, we can check out the remaining oil life. Uh, we do service every vehicle that comes our way that we plan to retail. So it's got a fresh oil change there. Sorry, we're having some focusing issue, it looks like. You can check out tire pressure information and set your units for standard or metric. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and switch back to the digital speedo there. This will also control blinkers and brights on this side. Right hand one will control your front and rear wipers for you. Then up above, we've got some interior lighting. You can turn all the lights on or uh, just leave it for when you open the doors. So we'll illuminate and then dim. We've got a standard rear view mirror right here with your OnStar controls right here. And then down below, we have a nice entertainment center for this vehicle. So heading home here, we've got access to our audio, Bluetooth, um, settings. This vehicle has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can actually have some navigation on here, which is great. This also gives you access to your phone, media, and uh, messaging, too, um, just by plugging into one of these USB ports right here. It'll basically put your phone on screen and give you all of those necessity apps for when you're traveling. You've got your Wi-Fi hotspot access here. Um, you can activate this with having OnStar services, or uh, this is powered through AT&T as far as I know, so you can just add this tracks to your phone like a device for data that way. We've got analog controls right here. 
than a single climate manually controlled air conditioning system with your hazard lights and traction control switch here. The two USB ports I mentioned with an auxiliary port and a 12 volt outlet. We've also got some nice storage down below right here. And then checking out the shifter. Putting it in reverse brings up the backup camera. We can see the bumper right down here. Uh, horizontal lines for some distance judgment and then the left and right hand line actually represent the sides of the track. So you can see here, if I angled the wheel just about that much, this would guide me right into that parking spot there. As long as nothing is getting close here or coming in between, you shouldn't impact with anything. But if it is getting close, make sure you use your mirrors just to double check that. But this is a great tool. Once you get used to it, it's your best friend. Uh, you've got some manual shifting capability on the side right here. All you have to do is just put it in this M mode right here below drive. I've got four cup holders right here, the armrest and e-brake, and glove box with your owner's manuals inside. Lastly, up above, we've got our uh, visors with a little clip for tickets. These are mirrored. Oh, no. And, oh, non-telescopic. All right. All right. Now we know, right? Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off. Save some fuel here. And check out the rear seats as well as the hatch. All right. Ooh, that's a nice breeze out here today. Nice and cool today. We've got more storage in the doors, cargo bags, hardback seat on the right with the cargo net. I'll show you a nice little hidden feature available right there. We've got our latch seating for child seats for tethering and anchoring. Nice little armrest with a couple more cup and bottle holders here. This is removable if you need to clean it. Rear seats do fold down. I'm going to show you the best I can with one hand here. You've got a little tab right here. Pull this. This is going to fold this down here, then pull here. But you want to make sure first that this headrest is all the way down. You can see it. Ugh. Comes all the way down right there, and that folds into itself. You can press that down a little bit. You can see you've got a decently flush plane right here, and the, the cargo cover is up here too. You can remove this too if need be. I'm going to leave that right there uh, just for demonstration purposes. Manual lift gate here. This isn't a Nissan Juke. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> so you got this cargo cover right here, and it can actually be used as a secondary tray right here to keep smaller items from rolling around too much back here. You've got storage available over here. This just needs to be popped in right there. There we go. Much better. Got some little uh, bag hooks that you can hang items off of on either side. A storage container is also right here that you can pop out. Stuff a little blanket or something in there. Not sure why we've got some mismatched floor mats in here, but hey. Spare tire with your roadside tools with even more little storage cubbies right here too. Very nice. All right. So, as you can see, you've got a decent amount of cargo space back here, especially if we fold this other seat down. But say you've got some elongated items that you need to have in here. Um, since this is a compact vehicle, maybe you need, you know, that good six or seven feet, maybe even up to eight feet of space. This vehicle can do it. This passenger seat is pretty special. It folds down flat. And that's why it's hard backed right here. So you can see this lines up with the plane with the seats folded down. So you can have this whole smaller side folded down for those really, really long items. So this, like I mentioned before, is a very high utility vehicle. So we'll leave that locked down too, because I like to leave these little hints for people checking out this vehicle so they know what all it has to offer. This is gonna be a four-way adjustable manual seat on this side, by the way. All right, and that wraps it up for this Chevy Trax. Thanks again, guys, for all of your time. I always appreciate it. Hope this video was helpful. Make sure you like and share it uh, with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles Excuse me, we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This Trax is available for sale. You can find a link down below in the description. 
with even more information like the Carfax, today's market value, and anything else that you might need, along with the ability to inquire further if you're interested. We work with people all over the nation. We'll help, it, help you and we'll find a solution and figure it out together. Thanks again, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.